All the polls today are indicating that the government is back in town. Have you turned the corner? I think we've had a good several months now, and it's just been a, a good policy process. I mean, you work hard on the policy, you, uh, you correct the issues from the past, and, and you communicate clearly about what you're trying to do, and, and people, are, I think, are getting that message, and that, that's encouraging, and we'll keep on doing it. Well, you've been the front man you're doing. No, it's a team. I mean, I, I did the curtain raiser, Joe did the main event. That's that's how it was uh, designed. That's but you've how been we out were there a lot more than most in the past couple of months. Well, I have because we've been explaining some big changes, some big changes for the Jobs for Families package, which is giving uh, families more choice. Uh, we've had the the, uh, the pension changes, which were also very significant, and uh, I think they've required a lot of explanation, and I think people have responded to those quite well. So, you know, you, you need to articulate why you're making changes, and that's what we've been doing. So can you smell an early election? No, I can't. No, I can't, not at all, uh, and uh, because there's so much more work to be done. Uh, we, 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 there's another budget to come after this, and because uh, there's more work to be done on the fiscal job, but uh, equally, I mean, this morning I was launching a families conference, and the work we're doing there in addressing domestic violence and children at risk, and uh, we've got a lot of exciting programs which we think can make a difference there. Is a person double-dipping on paid parental leave, as has been described, are they rorting the system? Well, I think the system itself is the problem, not the individuals, and but that's the point I was. Of no, I haven't actually. No, no? I, my, my problem is with the system that was set up by Labor and the unions that allows this to happen. What is happening right now is people can get full full pay, paid parental leave, say fourteen weeks, sixteen weeks, and at exactly the same time be drawing down a paid parental leave payment from the taxpayer. So they get a top up on top of their full wage. And now, if you're on a small business and you're working there and you get just the basic scheme, you're getting the, you're getting the minimum wage. But someone who's working for the public sector, who may be getting paid exactly the same as you, is getting paid two, three times what you are to spend the same time with your children. Now, that, that is a system which seems to be not fair to me. So and you, I think it needs to change. You haven't used the word rort, haven't you? I have used that word wrought in relation to the scheme itself, not to those who are using it. And I think there's a clear distinction. And I think this system needs to change because I don't think it's fair. Um, what we have seen from the evaluation work done by the previous government, which is carried on under our government, is that the introduction of these, these arrangements, which allows people to receive two payments at the same time, is not leading to people spending longer beyond 18 weeks at home with their children. So people are taking the paid parental leave payment from the employer, you usually the public sector, yeah. and then at the same time taking a top-up payment. It's a bit like a, a, a baby bonus for those who have employer-sponsored paid parental leave. Well, I said it's a bit like uh, being on the dole but having a job. Well, no, I wouldn't quite put it like that. No, that's because <laughs> two of your ministers have been caught doing it. No, no, I wouldn't put it like that at all. Um, as I said, I have no issue with the people who are using the scheme as it's currently designed. What I have an issue with is the scheme as it is currently designed. A bit embarrassing, wasn't it, Matthias Cormann and Josh Frydenberg doing it? Because the, 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 re the language was pretty tough about rorts and frauds and things. Well, again, I was talking about the scheme and not about those who are using it. And... Uh and that's why we need to change the scheme. Still and we changed the scheme. Look, the, 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 it, was a, it was a difficult issue to manage last week. But what we can't do, Neil, is get distracted by what the change is necessary. Now, if anyone thinks it's fair for someone to pull down a payment from the taxpayer while at exactly the same time they're pulling down an even bigger payment from a big employer, and it's not just the public service, it's all the big banks and Coles well, and Woolies and all the rest of it, if they think that people should be getting paid three times to spend time at home with their kids as someone in a small business or doesn't have those schemes when they're probably getting paid exactly the same wage, well, they can explain that. I don't think it's fair. Well, obviously, Josh Frydenberg and Matthias Cormann and their families thought it was fair. No, they, they accessed the scheme as it has existed. Yeah, but you're saying people think it's, they thought it was fair because they used it. I'm talking about the scheme, not the individuals. And Go there's on. a big difference. Yeah, but would people you, will any use individual the who used the scheme was when it was unfair, didn't think it was unfair. People will use the scheme that's there, Neil. They'll pay the tax that, that you have to pay that's under the legal. tax scheme. Kerry Packer used to say that. <laughs> when, he didn't when, want to give you any money. At, that's he, right. at his famous <laughs> appearance before uh, that committee, which, uh, which Peter Costello was at, I recall. But, you know, the, the issue here is what is a fair deal on paid parental leave? Now, if people were actually spending 36 weeks away with their kids because they got the extra 18-week payment from the taxpayer, that'd be different. But that's not what's happening. They're taking the paid parental leave, which they're entitled to do from their employer, but at the same time, they're getting a top-up of 11500 That's more than twice 
what the old baby bonus used to be. That's not going to stay at home mums. That's not going to people who work for small businesses. That's not going to peop- mums who run their own businesses. They just get the 11 and a half ground. They don't get the top up uh, that is the part of the labour union deal that we saw with this scheme. So double dipping is not fraud? No, of course not.